So you're looking to make a split screen video that looks like this. Let's go through it. So on any editing software that you're using, there are two tools that you need to know. The first one is your X, Y axis, and the second is the crop tool. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this on Premiere and for free on DaVinci Resolve, but the tools are the same in any editing software that you're going to use. And make sure to stick around till the end because I'm going to show you how you can do this automatically after you record those videos and some other cool stuff that you can do too. So I'm on Premiere and I have a new project file right now. I'm just going to import both of the videos that I want to turn into a split screen view. So to do that, I'm just going to click and drag the videos onto the timeline. By default, the sequence, so the canvas size, is going to be whatever you record it in. If you wanna change the sequence settings, you can head up to sequence, sequence settings, and you can change them here. Now I'm going to import the second video as well. Great, now I have both videos on the timeline that I want to turn into a split screen video. I'm going to click on the top video, Aaron's video, and I'm going to head into effect controls. This could be different based on the layout of your Premiere profile. If you can't find effect controls, you can head up to the top menu, go to window, and make sure effect controls, wherever that is here, effect controls is checked off then it will show up on your screen. So the first thing that we want to do in effect controls is move the position so that this top speaker is taking up half the screen. So I'm gonna use this X axis here and I'm just gonna drag Erin's video so that her head is taking up about half the screen. You can move it in either direction. So the next thing that I'm going to do is go to effects. If you don't see effects, again, you can go up to window and make sure that effects is checked off. I'm gonna search crop. I'm gonna click and drag that crop function onto the top video. Now when you go back into effect controls, you'll see here that you have these crop tools. You're gonna to wanna to play around with either the left or the right crop depending on what side of the screen the speaker is on. So I'm gonna use the left crop and I'm gonna crop the video so that Aaron's video is taking up half the screen. Now you can see that the video underneath starts to reveal itself. We want that video underneath to take up the other side of the screen. So I'm going to simply click on that video, head up to the X, Y axis again, and drag that video to take up the other side of the screen. Boom, done, split screen video. It's as easy as that. Now, a lot of people actually ask me how I do these talking head videos by having my head on half the screen and text on the other half of the screen. So the way I would do this is the same tools. I use the X, Y axis to drag my video file to take up half the screen. So I'll show you here. Let's see if we hide my video. Now you see Aaron's only taking up half the screen. And then I just use this text tool to write on the other half of the screen. And then I use these tools over here to center and move the text around and change the font to the Riverside font. Now you would have text on half the screen and a talking head on the other half. Now, if you're looking for somewhere to do this for free, I'm gonna quickly show you how to do this on DaVinci Resolve. You can download DaVinci Resolve for free from the web. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. So I have a new DaVinci Resolve project here, and I'm going to import my videos the same way I did on Premiere. I'm just gonna click and drag them onto the timeline. Okay, so they're both on the timeline here. Now what you wanna do is head up to the Inspector tool. Now again, you'll see this position function and the X, Y axis. So I'm gonna click on the top video, I'm gonna drag the X axis over to one side of the screen so that the head is taking up half. And then you'll also see this crop function underneath as well. And you can crop the left to take up half the screen. Now select the bottom video and move the X axis to take up the other half of the screen and boom, you have a split screen video. Now the easiest way to create a split screen video is to have the software that you record on do it automatically for you. And that's exactly what you'll get if you use the software that I'm gonna tell you about. So Riverside is an online recording and editing platform that you can use to record your videos and then edit them online all over the web with no software download required. So you'd use the Riverside Studio to record your footage. You can have you and a guest both join and be recorded locally on your computers and then it uploads that file to the cloud so that you can easily access it over the web. So this could be a podcast episode, an interview, a case study, a testimonial, a presentation, 
anything along those lines. Whatever it may be, if you record it on the platform, you'll be given high quality footage in separate tracks afterwards. So this is what I mean by separate tracks. You have one track for guest one and one track for guest two, and that's actually how I got the footage that we used throughout this video. I just downloaded those high quality videos from the web, and I was able to import them into an external editor to create a split screen video. So you can do that. You can download these from the web, or you can go into the Riverside editor by selecting create new edit. So now by default, you'll have a split screen view of both participants from the recording. So you can change around the layout of the speakers here. You can also resize it for various social media platforms. Here you can add captions to the track, you can add text overlays, and you can even edit the content using the text-based editor by highlighting over whatever you want deleted out of the final recording and pressing delete on your keyboard. This will be deleted out of the text-based editor and therefore reflected in the final recording. There are actually tons of things that you can do with the Riverside Editor. So I did this video next, which will give you a full overview of everything you can do with the Riverside Editor. Hopefully this video has helped you get a side-by-side -side video. Thanks for watching. My name's Bridget, and I'll see you next time.